click on the Tools drop-down window, Install Agents and Maintenance Services on Remote Computers. In this example, a push installation using a file to import computers will be performed. Here is an example of a text file with computer names. Click on the Import Computers button and browse to the Select the file containing the computers, then click on the Add List button. Enter an account that has local admin permission to those computers. The push install will validate the computers to make sure that the clients can be contacted. If there are any issues, the status window can be expanded to view the error messages. There are several things that can be checked and configured to allow the agent to be pushed, installed to a client. This article can be followed to help with connection issues. Proceed to the install the DLO client on the systems that were successfully validated. The files will first be copied to the client and then installed. The installation status will show a completion percentage, and when it's at 100%, the installation can be closed. Another way to install the DLO agent is directly from the workstation. Browse to the server shares and go to the DLO agent share. Double click on setup.exe. Please note that the user logged in must be a local administrator. Click on Next to continue and then accept the license agreement. Click Next. Verify the installation path and click Next. Click Install to begin the installation. When the installation is completed, check the box to launch the DLO agent. Uncheck it if you do not want to launch the agent. Then click Finish. If the user that are using to install has run backups on computers, DLO will prompt to migrate that user's data to the new machine. The DLO agent will automatically launch and start a backup. If you check back to the DLO admin server, you will now see that the two machines are added to the console. This concludes the DLO client installation video.